What's up guys? It's another video. In the wild world of the Animal Crossing series, there are a plethora of things to do to kill time, and more importantly, to make some cold, hard calf. <laughs> you see what I did there with the wild world pun? <sighs> forget it. You'll need the in-game currency called bells to buy things like furniture, trees, flowers, and tools. But the main thing that you'll actually be spending your money on is your mortgage, which keeps increasing as you upgrade your house, which is uh, mandatory by the way. So no saying, I think this size is fine. No, you'll get a bigger house and you'll like it. I think that's what Tom Nook says, but I don't know. I. I, I just play the game, I didn't make it. And the best way in the series to get money is to sell stuff to Tom Nook. And now that I think about it, it seems kind of skeevy that uh, Tom Nook is giving you money for things that you're selling to him, which ultimately you're gonna end up giving back to him. But Nook's swindling aside, probably the very best way to make money is to sell fish and bugs. Now, my favorite game in the series so far is Animal Crossing City Folk. For the Wii, I might have liked New Leaf better if it were on a console because I think Animal Crossing needs to be on a big screen for maximum enjoyment. Now let's get to the main point of what I'm going to talk about today. Now today we're going to be discussing some statistics about the fish in Animal Crossing City Folk. Stuff that normal people wouldn't find enjoyable but uh, <laughs> I find a weird satisfaction in calculating these things. And among these facts, at the very end, I'm going to tell you what the most valuable fish in the game is, and no, it's not a coelacanth. So don't hit that reset button, and let's jump into these interesting statistics, and also, what the most valuable fish in City Folk is. To start off, we need to know some things first. The total number of fish in City Folk is 64. The total price that all the fish sell for at Nooks is 188,120 bells, and the total length of all the fish equals 2,026.1 inches. Now that we have these stats, we can find the average price, size, and price per inch of all the fish in the game. Now the average price comes to about 2,939.375 bells per fish, which is pretty decent, mainly due to outliers. The average length comes to about 31.658 inches per fish. Dividing the average price by the average length, gives us the average price per inch of 92.848 bells per inch. Now that we have that reference point, we can get into the meat of the stats. The worst fish, the most average fish, and the best fish in each category. Since first is the worst, here are the lowest stats for fish in the game. The lowest priced fish is the jellyfish at 100 bells. The smallest fish in terms of length is the neon tetra at only 0.8 inches and worst overall fish in terms of price per inch is the ever so omnipresent annoyance The sea bass at a pathetic five bells per inch. I guess it really deserves all the hate Now on to the most average fish We're gonna use the average statistics stated earlier as a reference point the most average fish in terms of price goes to two fish actually the angelfish and the red snapper at 3,000 bells each since the average price of all fish is the closest to this number at 2,939.375 bells, the most average sized fish is actually a five-way tie, including the carp, koi, rainbow trout, olive flounder, and moray eel at 32 inches apiece, which is the closest to the average of all fish at 31.658 inches. And the most average fish in terms of price per inch is the sweet fish at 90 bells per inch, getting very close to the total average of all fish at 92.848 bells per inch. Now comes the fun part, showcasing the best of the best. If you've ever wanted to know what the most expensive fish in the game is, and no, it's not a coelacanth, well, at least in terms of price per inch, then here we go. In terms of raw price, there's a four-way tie for the highest, including the stringfish, dorado, shark, and of course, the coelacanth at a whopping 15,000 bells each. And the longest fish in the game is also one of the previous four fish as well, the shark at 216 inches. Now, here's the moment you've been waiting for, the best fish in terms of price per inch, beating out all the competition by miles, a fish so small compared to its price, and which in the winter is not too rare. I'm talking about the sea butterfly. And if you can believe it, 
it's worth 833.333 bells per inch. Now with the average at almost 93 bells per inch, it is an extreme outlier. The Dorado at 375 bells per inch already obliterates the average and it's still not close to the raw value that is the mighty sea butterfly. All hail the mollusk. That's it for my time guys. Remember to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, hit that bell if you like Animal Crossing for all notifications on every video that I upload. And comment down below if you want me to make one about the bugs in City Folk or the other games too because I can do that. And I will see you guys next time.